peace to you. This is Yusuf at um, <coughs> at my channel, Yusuf out there here. And I got a message a while ago. Um, sorry, I had uh, a lot of traumatic things going on in my family, and I was very sick. I'm still recovering, but I'm doing a lot better. It's just to let my viewers know that. Um, <coughs> I got a message from Daniel Zero. Uh, sorry, I. Uh, I usually don't reveal names of anything in private message. It just says, the afterlife, you've said that the afterlife has little impact on your beliefs. That really doesn't matter, that it really doesn't matter whether it exists or not. I'm curious how this relates to your beliefs as an Orthodox Christian and what reason you have to be moral. I don't, I kind of almost see that as like a non sequitur. That I don't know how that morality has anything to do with an afterlife. Um, not until recently did I actually fully embrace the idea of an afterlife or care about it. I, I don't care, um, or at least I didn't up until recently. Um, it never affected my belief in God or Christianity. Um, <coughs> I am not a Gnostic who is just waiting for the shell of the world to go away and that to drop our bodies, which are tombs for the soul, and that we go on and to this other ethereal plane. That doesn't I? Um, the kingdom of heaven starts here, although it's not the heaven that is talks about the glorified state after when the body reunites with the um, the spirit. Um, in the Old Testament, they would call the body and the spirit together as the soul. The soul is the body and the spirit. But in Western terms, the soul and the body make up the person. So um, what reason do I have to be moral? There are plenty of reasons to be I mean... Morality is a strange thing. It shifts from culture to culture. It's not... Um, a lot of it has to do with honor, of dignity, of who I am. And it does spring from orthodoxy, but not uh, a concept of afterlife. A concept of dignity and honor, of being in the image of God, being honorable when you are orthodox. It's almost like being a knight or a samurai. It's a disciplined life. Um, I've always found it repugnant um, for those who use violence or cruelty against children or elders or the disabled. It's something visceral that I can't explain that just disgusts me beyond all anything. And um, you may be a Western Christian asking this, uh, our view of sin is not transgression of the law, it's to miss the mark. Um, and we believe in theosis. So, the purpose behind me not sinning or trying to avoid sin is not to not go to hell or to not incur the wrath of God. It's that when I do these things, I lose my identity. Um, if I were to go out and, well, I mean, I, it's not in me to go out and rape somebody. I wouldn't be able to get hard or perform the sex act. Same thing as sleeping with a man, um, or a goat, or, and I'm not, this is no judgment on homosexuality at all. I don't, it's just not in me. I would already have had to break away from my own identity to start doing these things, or to, like, torture a child, or things like that. Um, so, Orthodox Christian, um, in Eastern Orthodoxy, um, it's not, yeah, it, the, the afterlife and morality, I don't see anything dependent on that. 
when Paul was arguing with the Epicureans and the Stoics, he said, you know, uh, but this was talking about the resurrection and the afterlife. Eat, eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow we die. Eat, drink, and be merry. I, I don't think those things are very immoral, and even when you look at what the Epicureans believed, it wasn't just debauchery and indulgence. It actually was moderation is what they taught, um, not of just drunken orgies. Um, my, I, I guess, morality comes, at least mine, and comes from the shaping of the last 2,000 years of Christian society and probably extends further back than that. And while, and I've made countless videos that righteousness and morality aren't the same things, they do overlap, yes, in many cases, but they're not necessarily synonymous with each other. Um, I despise theft. I don't steal. If I steal, that goes against my very honor, my very being. Just like hitting a woman, lying, um, you know, uh, gambling all day long, being drunk all day long, um, or at least a lot of the time being totally sexually immoral, all these things. At what point could I then call myself Christian? or even a follower of Christ, or even in, in, in any way, shape, and form of, of, of Christian, especially Eastern Orthodox. It, it, it's self-contradictory. It's not... <clears throat> you can call yourself a label all day long, and you can be baptized, but if you're not walking it out, I mean, are you really? It's like saying, okay, I'm a doctor. And you don't go through any of the schooling to become a doctor. You're not practicing as a doctor, but you just have this label. You just have a shirt with the word doctor on it. Maybe many people believe you're a doctor. Are you really a doctor? No. not I, I would say no. Um, so no, the afterlife doesn't really factor into my actions on this earth. I... I, I don't do good to get a reward for it. I stay true to my own innermost self, my true nature, not the corrupted one that keeps trying to appear in this current age um, with uh, the temptations of both carnal and spiritual temptations that are negative. There are good carnal temptations. There are good spiritual temptations. Um, <clears throat> but um, it's as if I were to say I'm a practicing Orthodox Christian, yet I never, if if I were to never take communion or never take the Eucharist, if I were to never go to church, never pray, um, never believe in God, never venerate the saints, never venerate icon. I mean, it, it, you you lose your identity. The reason why not sin is loss of identity. The, I mean, notice the Ten Commandments. There's no punishments after those. If you don't follow these, you're not an Israelite. You, you've you lost your identity. <coughs> Just picture that for a moment of an ancient Israelite who then fully rejects and goes against all of the Ten Commandments. What then makes them an Israelite? Just by the fact that they're related to somebody? Israel means one who struggles with God. This this was not this would not be that. Um, I hope this answers your question. Um, again, it's a very odd thing that I... I mean, I wasn't even thinking, but I, I don't think this is... Um, you released anything private. If you did... Please forgive me, and I will take the video down. Hopefully this answered your question. If you have any more questions, please feel free to uh, message me. Uh, and if you'd like to talk at length, we could always just uh, talk via Skype. 
Alright, peace to you. May God save Serbia and Syria.